Yo, what up, YouTube? Welcome back to the Toy Box Chop Shop. You're chilling with Chuck Roadblock. I just want to go over what I've been chopping on and cutting on lately and what I use to chop and cut and put the cars back together with. Um, this is the big saw right here. If you, uh, Everybody like using the uh, jeweler saw. I try using the jeweler saw. It's not for me. I like. I try using this, and I kind of like it. It's just a straight, it's nice saw. It cuts like a laser. You can. If it, it's good for cutting cars in half and big pieces, and you want to, if you want to bed off a truck or something like that, this is really really good. This little exacto knife for like nooks and crannies or a little small part that you want to get and not really cut the whole. Just leave a big mark. It is tough if you're trying to cut a whole hood out with it. You would have to scribe and scribe, then try to get the saw in as much as you can to use. This It, it, it takes a while when you're using this. You got to be patient. might hurt your finger a little bit, but it gets the job done, too. You can cut a whole car up with this by itself. It's going to take forever, but it can be done. I wish I used found this saw sooner. I had it, but I wasn't really using it. And when I did start using it, oh my goodness. This is the best thing. It cuts like a laser. And after you cut the cars, you need like this big file to file the uh, parts and halves and smooth before you glue them together. This is one of my old customs. The old Porsche Outlaw truck. You can tell I like, I didn't cut it good. I didn't put it together good. It's all like, like, uneven, unbalanced, warped looking. So I, I'm about to do it again. This is what what's gonna happen this time. I cut the back off of Volkswagen Caddy, and the front off of Porsche Outlaw. So I will be doing that again. What else I've been chopping on? This is one of the paint jobs I did last week that didn't come out so good. I ain't going to say it didn't come out good. It was a layer of gold, then a layer of green. I ran out of green. I only had a little drop. I was like, let me see if I can spray the green and finish it out. But you can see that it's not really finished, and it's kind of thin in the corners. So it's either going to be one more layer of lime apple or another layer of, uh, I don't know. Oh, olive green. I'm going to go olive green. Or lime apple. One more layer. That should make this bad boy right. See how it's thin in the corner by the front fin, the front headlight. It, it just needed one more layer of the green, and I ran out of the green. Look at this Mustang. Now. I put the decals on the Mustang. Mustang look good. I gotta finish putting the clear coat on it. I ain't put a clear coat on them yet. But I did finally decide to put some decals on him. He gonna look good with the clear coat. When the clear coat hit, I'm gonna be, hope it don't mess it up. And it don't bubble up like the damn view it. Look at it clean. <clears throat> what else I'm working on? Look, I got to cut a ram in half. You know, I was talking about when you're filing, you get the file like this. You want to, after you didn't cut it in half, that way you can glue the parts together perfectly. Perfectly. You want them to go in together perfectly. That's after you done filed them and got them, then you glue them together. Bam, now I got a little single cam ram truck. Got me another Chevy I'm working on. I was lucky to find it. Look through the lot. Get him all polished up. Then I cut the hood off of him. Have me another one to work on. Yeah, this truck don't come with no interior. Look at that. So I got to uh, find me a nice little interior to go inside. I made me a Tahoe. Look at my two-door Tahoe I'm working on. This thing gonna be so clean, boy. I've been filing and sawing and 
and polishing and sanding, getting this thing straightened together and smooth. This is the best one I put together. Last time I did it, I, I used the wrong back. I used the back off the, uh, probably the Cadillac truck, the Cadillac Escalade, because I made the Escalade truck. Used the front off the Escalade, then the back off this truck. And then I tried to use the back off the Escalade with the front of this truck, which didn't, it was all right. But it's not going to come out as good as this one. This one is going to be nice. This is the Silverado cut in half, made into a single cab. Then I took the uh, this back roof part off the boom box and put it on here. So now I got me a nice start to a nice, I'm going to polish it up. It's going to be pretty. Put a nice little color on it. The grill I got ain't quite big enough, so I don't know if I, I got one other turbo intercooler set up. I might have to knock this, this grill out. I wanted to put the mesh in there, but the mesh don't quite fit. Maybe if I make a little trim border for the mesh, then I can put the mesh on there. Still, I put the regular truck interior in here for right now just to get it all lined up and glued together. But I, I may put a uh, like a boom box interior inside. I got this one. Or this boom box interior with the gold boom, gold, got the gold speakers. So either one. I got the red or the gold. Might f flip that in there. At least put the speakers in the back. Find some different color interior seats or something. But I like the little truck dash, so I kept the dash. I cut the seats out and lined it up. <laughs> I'm making an extended cab for the big truck. The Ford. 56 Ford extended cab. Yeah. I saw this on YouTube. It was a... Uh, Rusty Resto Mod, you know, one of them big uh, rusty ones looking. So, I don't know if I'm going to do it like that. You know, I'm trying to keep mine clean. I'm going to think I'm going to have to redo it again because this door over here is not um, lined up perfectly. So, I might have to break it apart and pull this door out or push this door in a little bit to get it lined up. Because this side over here is lined up perfect. You can't even see nothing when I sand it down. So this side is nice. I'm probably gonna have to redo this side, like break it off and try to line that side up again. But y'all see what I'm working on in the chop shop, man. Stuff you ain't seen nowhere else. I got one more thing. Man, I was watching uh, Maple Leaf Customs and the guy sent him the uh, bike. It was half a bike, half a Porsche. I was like, damn, that shit was crazy. Now, that was, that was a custom. Now, like, that's cool. So then I got to thinking and chopping and cutting. What can I chop on and cut on? I always wanted to cut up the uh, K for Rafer. Racer. K for Racer. So I got me a K for Racer. I cut that bad boy up. Cut him in half. I was trying to find me a truck that I was going to put it with the caddy truck bed. Then another truck bed. And it didn't work. It didn't work. I found a bed that worked right. Let me know if y'all think this bed worked right. And and it looked like a little something. So just just check out this K for Ray for Racer. Step side on the K for Ray. And it looked like a bug. This thing looked like a bug, bro. It's going to look like Loki. Look at the little horns. You got the little horns at the top. I'm going to file these down, make them nice and sharp. And we're going to have something nasty. Have him look like a beetle bug creature. This is a, uh, one of the damn Decepticons. Autobots, Decepticon. I done created a Transformer. Transformer, beetle bug, Loki truck. The, the K for Racer. Step side. Let me know what y'all think, YouTube. This one gonna be crazy. I can't wait to put a little nice little paint job on this bad boy. Have it looking just like a bug. <clears throat> the bug truck. Let me know what y'all think, YouTube. We out. <laughs>